Hey. Which ghost hides in your closet? Or maybe I should say ghosts. Several ones are usually in the closet. Happy Halloween. Funnily enough, for me, Halloween never has been such a big thing because when I grew up in Germany, Halloween didn't exist. And we, I loved uh, as a kid, Carnival. We dressed up uh, for Carnival, which is uh, Pancake Tuesday around that uh, time. And another date where we would dress up and go from house to house was more 6th of January uh, with the Three Kings. Which doesn't mean that Halloween uh, couldn't be fun. And that's why I'm asking today which ghosts hide in your closet. It could be maybe the ghost of activism that wants to come out and you're too afraid to really speak your mind and to really do something more activist because you're too scared of the consequences so that ghost has gone hiding in the closet or it could be the ghost of joy because there are so many really challenging things and heartbreaking things going on in the world right now that maybe you feel like you're not allowed to be joyful anymore so it could be even that or there's a ghost of fear fear of change and so that ghost maybe interferes with your life and you're procrastinating on certain things you know you should be doing maybe have another checkup with the doctor or <laughs> i don't know <laughs> buying a new car that's things like i have been procrastinating on and i just feel it's a tough one we we love to have our ghosts uh, tucked away in the closet so we don't have to look at them. But when we do, it gives us the freedom to actually change our behaviors because those things we kind of, you know, don't want to deal with or we tuck away, they have actual impact in our life. Things we don't do because of that. We don't go out and speak maybe our mind because of that or we don't do the thing we really should be doing that would be good for us like having the check up with the doctor it could be many things but there's a direct link between your ghosts you're hiding in your closet and the things you are not doing but actually really either would like to do or the things that really would be important for you to do because it means you're looking after yourself so since it's halloween today maybe you could release at least one ghost out of the closet so which ghost is it gonna be which ghost are you gonna release today and maybe face up to and then change a little habit that's associated with that ghost. I made my appointment with the doctor, so that's one of the ghosts I have released. Can't wait to hear from you. Take good care. This was Anja Kersten, life coach and artist. Bye bye.